night is special anymore. She wants me to come up with some ideas to spice things up. Don't look at me. My sex night doesn't even involve other people. <laughs> Can I be honest? With sex tips like that, it's amazing either of you have issues with women. Where the hell is Duncan when you need him? Uh, Rudy? Here comes your female expert. <laughs> We need to talk. No, no, wait. I don't understand. That reporter is running the Yonker story? I thought we took care of that. We did, except for one thing. Tell him what you told me. That night at the club, when Duncan bribed me to keep quiet about what happened with me and him... Yeah? Well, I kind of taped it. He taped it. He taped it? You taped it? The reporter paid me to. Said it could be a big story. Unfortunately, the biggest thing in that story was your penis. Which, I'm still not quite sure how you didn't notice. Reporter lied to me. Said my profile was a puff piece. Tell me it was a, a dead end. That's because she doesn't want you to stop it. I feel terrible that I gave her the tape. That's why I came back. The guilt is killing me. I can barely eat. My work is suffering. Your work is suffering? You're a prostitute. What have I stumbled upon here, Duncan? Meeting of your corporate board? Actually, it's a search party, Terrence. We're out here looking for your business ethics. Bag. Huh. And it's your ex-wife yesterday, Elizabeth. Terrific woman she is. You're not her type. Oh. What is her type? Me. Okay. Well, always good seeing you, Duncan. I'll let you get back to your, um, menage a trois. Oh, he's cute, is that? Terrence Hill. Corporate raider with the conscience of an assassin. He's a member here. Hates Duncan. Really? Why? A few years back, I rear-ended his sister in the parking lot. Never forgiven me. Maybe that's because neither of you were in your cars at the time. All right, look, you got a problem here. But don't worry, because when guys like you have problems, they call guys like me. Actually, I may be able to fix this one all on my own.